Hi there, students. A round robin. Round robin. Okay, let's see. We could use this for a tournament. Um, a round robin is a tournament where every player or every team plays against every other team. Yeah, um, very often in competitions um, for the qualifying uh, to, um, period, everybody plays everybody. And the, uh, the, the people who do best in that then go forward to the finals or the semi-finals or whatever. So a round robin, every player ta plays against every other player um, in turn. So they all play against each other. Um, a round robin, it could also refer to um, a petition. Uh, where the signatures are all uh, put in a circle so that we d you don't know who um, signed it first and therefore you don't know who the ringleaders are. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, a round robin, um, uh, a series or a sequence of things where you go to lots of different places perhaps. So a round robin of talks in London, in Madrid, in Paris, in Rome, going to different uh, places. And all of these, these cities are involved in the talks. A round robin. Um, a round robin can also be a, a letter that is sent to all of the members of a group. Um, each person reads it, maybe adds some comments, and then signs it. And then they hand it on to the next person, who does the same and hands it on uh, as well. Um, okay, so it, it g goes on. Now, in British, we also use this phrase, a round robin, as a letter that you write at Christmas and you tell uh, you don't write it for one person you write it for all your friends for everybody you know and you give all of your news you say what's been uh, happening yeah you tell everybody what you've done that year and then you copy it and you send it to everyone and that is also a round robin so a round robin it's got the idea of going round with everybody. Now, I think I'd like to do the origin next because um, th 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 this is really part of it. A round robin comes from French, uh, rubon rond, which is a round ribbon, a round ribbon. Um, and um, originally in France, Go uh, government officials signed petitions on ribbons, yeah, on a ribbon, on a piece of uh, material, and these were attached to the petition in a circle. This was later used by the uh, British Navy, the Royal Navy, where if you if the men were unhappy about something, they would send a petition to their captain. Um, and the names would be in a circle so that you didn't know who had signed it first. You didn't know um, who was the leader and the leaders couldn't be identified. So it was a way of keeping you, your identity secret. Um, so, yeah, it's talking about a round ribbon, a round ribbon which th was stuck to a document with, with signatures. Um, and that's why a, uh, a petition signed in a circular fashion to d disguise the order it was signed in so you don't know who the ringleaders are. Okay, so a round robin, a competition where all of the players play each other, yeah? And then you decide what happens from there. Um, a, uh, a, a demand or a set of complaints signed by many people, very often in a circle. Um, a letter that you uh, that goes to various different people and is maybe signed and 
uh, information is added or a letter that you send at Christmas to everybody telling everyone what you've done that year. Okay, so a round robin tournament, um, a round robin petition, a round robin letter, um, and it's got this idea of it go going to each and every member of the group, and th th I think that that's really the idea of it. Um, formality. That's interesting. I, I'm not sure how much this is used anymore, but I would probably give it a five in formality. It might it might be a little bit old fashioned, but I'm not sure about that. Um, certainly in my day, round robin, per, uh, a five in formality. So, a round robin, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. For now, round robin.